Plot synopsis, you're all gonna die narrates the well-known tale of a group of young people who drive into the middle of nowhere, where a murderous psychopath is waiting, under the leadership of a damaged woman named Anna. Although the film lacks originality in most of its aspects, it does include a few plot twists that set it apart from other horror films that overcrowd our streaming sites. In this You're All Gonna Die essay that explains the conclusion, we pose the following query, what is revealed regarding Anna's past? How will you all going to die start? A young woman named Anna is shown in the opening of the film, standing on the side of a lake and covered in blood. We have no idea who she is or why she is in such a mess right now. However, as the film flashes back a few days, we learn that Anna is a member of a group of social justice activists who are fighting to clear the name of a guy who they believe was wrongfully convicted of a string of highway homicides. The group, which comprises of Anna, Travis, Danny, Deirdre, and Susie, drives out to the location of an abandoned summer camp where one of the killer's victims was located after discussing their theories on a TV talk program. What occurs at the scene of the murder? When the crew arrives at the scene of the crime, they expect to uncover evidence that will clear the wrongfully accused murderer. Regretfully, the only proof they manage to find is the actual murderer, who pursues each of them with the intention of killing them. The first two persons to fall victim to the psychopath are Danny and Susie. The young couple, filled with want, enters a barn and spends a few passionate minutes there before being attacked by the masked assassin. Susie is fatally stabbed, and Danny receives a hammer blow to the back of his skull. Despite having a hammer lodged in his back, Danny is amazingly still alive after the attack. However, seeing him whirling toward them, Anna and Deidre leave the scene, fearing they will be the next victims of the killer. They get into their car. This is bad news for Danny since the killer comes back to kill him, ruining any chance of survival. Who is the murderer's next target? Anna informs Deirdre that in order to assist Danny, they must return to the scene of the crime. Despite her distaste, Deirdre turns around and the two go back to the location where Danny is dying. The killer approaches Anna in an attempt to find Travis while she searches for Deirdre. She manages to get away from him and drive away, but not before her car overturns after coming dangerously close to hitting another car. The occupants of this car rescue her, but instead of taking her to safety, they go straight to the scene of the murder. Deirdre begs them to turn around, but they are unable to comprehend her because they do not know English. They have to pull over since the murderer's pickup truck is obstructing the road throughout their travel. Susie is forced to flee for her safety when the insane psycho kills the couple. She doesn't have a chance since the murderer shoots her in the head after mowing her down with his truck. Who is the murderer? After Anna locates Travis, the two depart the scene of the crime via car. Given that Travis has blood on his hands, Anna starts to believe he might be the one responsible for the murders. She is skeptical of his explanation when he claims that barbed wire is what caused his injuries. Travis pulls over the car after they dispute. Thinking she had left the killer behind, Anna exits and flees. But she doesn't take long to realize her error. Anna goes back to the scene of the crime and encounters the murderer once more in a hooded face. After escaping him, she finds safety in a car and spends the night there. The following morning, she discovers that a man in a pickup truck is towing the car away. She accepts his offer of sanctuary at his garage because she is unaware that he is the murderer. Anna looks around the garage when they get there and discovers a boar head in the refrigerator. Then she discovers Susie's body inside a barrel. She learns these startling facts and concludes that the man who offered her a ride is the murderer. Does Anna make it through the film? During their altercation, Anna shoots the murderer, whose name we find out is Earl, and strikes him with a crowbar. The sheriff shows up right before she kills him. The sheriff goes for Anna first since she is the one with the crowbar over Earl's head. She tells the sheriff what happened to her pals as she is being led to 